Hello, I'm Gary Leland, producer of the Fast Pitch TV show and publisher of the Fast Pitch magazine. And today I'm here to talk to you about the Glove Radar. I love this device. I used this device when I had a team. This has got to be the most affordable radar that there is, bar none. There, there's, we've shown you other ones that are very affordable. This one is even more affordable than those. But it works completely different. It works different than any other radar out there. A lot of people will, will say things about the radar. It's not accurate. Uh, they know their daughter's pitching at 60 miles an hour and it's picking them up at 45 miles an hour or whatever. Well, it doesn't work like conventional radars. The glove radar, first of all, fits on the black ear glove to use it. And every time a ball is thrown to you, you simply click it and reset it and it'll give you the speed. Now, what makes this different than other radars is it really only picks up the speed of the ball about three to four feet from the glove. It works with Doppler radar and it picks up, and it is accurate at that point, it's pretty accurate, I believe, but it does not pick up the speed of the ball as it's coming out of the pitcher's hand. It, it's not for that, okay? Uh, what this does, well, to give you an example, if you throw a ball underhanded, how far does it go before it hits the ground? How far does it go before it loses enough speed to hit the ground? 60 feet? 50 feet, 70 feet, okay, not very long. So a ball slows down drastically as it travels through the air. So if a pitcher's pitching at 60 miles an hour, leaving her hand, by the time it gets to the plate, it, it may be slower by 10 miles an hour. I'm not sure, I don't know the stats on that. I'm just saying it slows down drastically. This picks up the speed three feet before it gets to the glove approximately. Now, here's what I liked about this and how I use this. I always had this on my glove. It's very durable, I used it for Gosh, back in 2001 is when they came out. That's when I started using it. And I used it for years with my team. Lasted, very durable, but I used it for my pitcher. So between game innings, when I was warming up my pitcher, I could sit there and time my pitcher speed and see how fast she was throwing. And if she started that day throwing at 65, and now all of a sudden at the end of the afternoon, she's pitching at 52, or not pitching, but the ball is coming to the glove, as I said earlier. I know that she has drastically slowed down. So it's good for a, a method of calculating how uh, your pitcher's doing for the day. How's her arm going? How much speed does she have left to normal? It gives you a kind of a rating because you're using a guideline. Every time it pitches, pitch one in the morning, pitch 200 Sunday afternoon. It's still measuring the same way. So it's made more of a guideline is how I used it. So I didn't have a problem. I wasn't expecting this to be able to sit on the bench and pick up the glove ball as it came out of the glove. This has a reason. This has a purpose. And it has a use. And it's very functional if you know what to do with it. So that's the glove radar. I like it. It's very affordable. You can find this at fastpitch.tv slash glove radar. One word. Okay, so take a look at that if you're interested in it and go to the site, but I really like this, this device. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv. 